today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a travel intro animation using text reveal and canva so that's what we're going to do so so the video i just played is actually what we're going to create in this video tutorial we're going to use canva to do everything and then when you open canva all you need to do is to go to video click on create blank and then we need to add a background which is actually going to be a beach front so you can search for any beach front image by going to elements you can search for that any image at all and then use i've done some already so i have some image over here which i'm going to use you can search for any beach front image to use this right click and then set it as image background and it's going to fit the entire background now go to text and then add your text so go to add heading and then type whatever country any country of your choice i'm going to type australia and then change the color to white so go to the text color and then change it to white and then you can also change the font i'm going to change it to a font that will make everything very bold so i'm going to select a font over here and then make sure i enlarge this to cover my entire screen this way now because the color is white it may not be that visible so let's go to effect and then add some shadow so we add some shadow to this and that is actually what we want this is perfect we first going to download this onto our computer so go to share and then go to download and then download this as a png file so go to png and then download this okay so i've downloaded this and i'm going to delete everything from the screen here and then we are now going to create our animation now go back to upload go to upload and upload your downloaded background back so i'm just going to upload it back i'm going to upload it back to so i'm going to upload it back to canva and then we're going to set it back as background so right click and go to set image as background now this is where we're going to add some other effects so go back to element and we want to look for a plane so you can look for any plane at all i'm going to use this to do my video so what i want to do right now is i'm going to rotate this i'm going to rotate this i'm going to rotate this this way so my plane will actually going to appear from the left i'm going to enlarge this a bit i'm going to enlarge this so it's going to be something like this okay so this is actually what i prefer to have now we're going to create some shape so go to shapes go to element and go to shape or you can press the letter r on your keyboard so this is going to be the shape and then i'm going to change the color to any color of your choice i can use a yellow color this way and then let's try to just extend it on top just to cover everything like this now i prefer to have something like this and i'll explain to you why now our advice we extend this you make this very long it should extend beyond the entire screen so just try to make this one very long you will know the reason why i prefer it that way so let's uh, let's just move this one back now and then let's try to create additional shape to cover the wings of the plane so we need additional shape so you can just go back and click and then add shape and then we're just going to adjust the shape a bit but we're going to use the same color so go back and then change the color back to yellow and then let's rotate this to cover the wings of the plane you can just enlarge this a bit you can just enlarge this a bit and then make sure this will cover the wings of the plane okay so we need additional copy for the bottom part of this so just select and then duplicate this and then we can move this down as well can move this down as well and then just try to rotate this to cover this part as well okay so i have everything set now i think i need to move this one a bit and then i have everything set now what we're going to do is that we are actually going to group this together and make sure this is perfectly aligned so we're actually going to group everything together so select everything now and then before you group it first make sure you write you select your plane and then right click go to layer and then bring to front so just bring your plane to front like this and then select everything now and then now group everything after grouping just move it out just move it out like this 
you can move your plane off screen completely so you can have something like this and then we're going to create a duplicate of this so come to your timeline and then right click and then duplicate this now for the first part what we're going to do is that you can write anything at all on that so let's go to text and then just write travel so you can use any font because the background is yellow i'm going to use the yellow text to actually i'm going to because the background is yellow i'm going to use a black text like this and then you can add any animation to this so just go to animation and then just add any animation to this i can use the swipe animation like this you can use the any baseline so let's go with the baseline animation like this and you can actually go ahead and then duplicate this before we do that let's right click and then set this timeline we want to give this one just about 2.5 2.5 seconds so this will appear for just about 2.5 seconds and then we'll add the next text so the next text is going to be to travel to then our text review will show so now just type 2 and then just make sure you align this so where the travel is going to end the 2 will start from there so we can just go ahead like this so this is the 2 it's going to start from where the travel is going to end so this is basically how old we have and then we can place it on top of this because they have different timing it will not affect anything so basically this is how it's going to be so the first one appeared in this now we are actually going to add some transition between these two two slides so first click on transition so first click on transition and we are going to use match and move transition so click on that and then the duration let's just move it all the way to the right and then we go back to our first we go back to our second slide and then we're going to move this completely to the right so move this completely off screen to the right like this so you can move this completely out like this perfect now when you go back and then try playing this and see so travel to and then our text review will appear like that and that is very smooth if you decide to add some song or music at the background then you can bring your playhead to the beginning go to upload if you have any audio just upload it here and then you can add that to your background in my case i have some audio here i download from miss kids so i'm just going to add that and if i try to play this So for the volume you can easily adjust that volume you can really apply the volume setting so now now that everything is set you're going to be able to play your audio and everything so once you add your audio you cannot go back and then download this go to share go to download but we need to download this as mp4 because this is now a video so select mp4 and then download this to your computer and then once this is downloaded i'm going to play it for you to see okay so this is how our final video is going to look like so when i play this video you can see everything is perfect and everything is smooth like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos till i come away again